everybody and welcome back to my channel and hello if you are new welcome to a new video i am stood in front of the ring light because it's still quite dark outside it is like 20 past nine and i just thought that i would vlog today because me and my cousin lydia are going to bista village and i just thought that it would be a really nice cozy festive day out um, hopefully all the Christmas lights will be up and it will put me right in the mood for Christmas. I am going there to look at Christmas presents but you do have to see if there is anything to buy for yourself. Um, I am vlogging on my phone because my battery charger is at Kai's house so I was unable to charge my camera last night which is not good but the quality on the phone isn't that bad so we'll roll with it so hopefully you do enjoy coming along with us today and seeing Bista Village with all the festive lights seeing what we get up to and what we buy whilst we are there before we go I do just want to show you what I am wearing for the day um this star cardigan is my sister's I'm not quite sure where she got it from um, but I absolutely love it um, then I have on this distressed like grey coloured shirt from Zara with my rebellious fashion um, leather leggings and I picked this up from Miss Pap yesterday um, it's like a Dior style bag, it's leather snake print and I got this in the sale for £9, it was meant to be £20 um, which is absolutely amazing and what a bargain so I am just wearing it with this outfit for today You need to start riking a bit earlier in the rain, honestly <laughs> It ain't a good idea to be doing that uh, Line that was clipped. Oh, turn him off. Like, Ellie, I can't deal with Michael Bubble. Why? Like he annoys me. Oh, this is the rainbow. So annoying. One. I love this one. Oh, yeah. You don't have the classics. I do have the classics. Oh, you do. Oh. Classics are better. Been a wham. Love wham. Love George Michael. You love all the oldies. The old songs are the best songs. The new songs are the crap songs. driving to be still listening to Christmas songs in the pouring rain in the roadworks it would be on better. the bypass <laughs> it would be better if it wasn't raining I even got on the uh, motorway yet can I have a chewy gum? oh yeah of course you can I'll have one as well I should I like say if you don't mind but they're my chewing gums anyway <laughs> nice it's slobber on Bang. my there this is quite a depressing Christmas song. I don't really know the words to this one. Hard to draw, I just know the tunes. Can we listen to ones that we actually know? Oh yeah. Roadworks on the roundabout, they're making it bigger. It's probably what I sent us the other way. No, that was to come up the bypass by Maypole. You know, those signs, oh, yeah. that was to go up the bypass there. There's no need, just go through with them. Yeah, and now look where we are. Yeah, we'd have come here anyway if you'd have gone on the bypass down there. Yeah. You know, the island you come to, the big island. Yeah, you know, the exit next to you on the right, that's where you'd have come out. Ah, okay. Oh, Lord, then look. Sign pissing thing. Oh, yeah. You'll be rich 
when you learn to sing. Yeah. Have you seen Megan McKenna on X Factor? I know, I don't know why she's on X Factor for. I know because she's, all, deal anyway. she's already got loads of songs out yeah. and everything. This reminds me of Mean Girls. You know the um, dancing Mean Girls? Yeah. And her mum's there with Yeah, with the camera. I tried to reenact that for Harry to show him what it, it meant. And he was like, oh, I've never watched that before. I was like, you've never watched the Jingle Bell scene in, in Mean Girls? And he was like, no. What then it wasn't hell? on Netflix, so I couldn't show him. So I had to try and like, be the mum and the girls at the same time to like get him to understand it, but he still didn't understand Lydia, that's really old. He laughed, though. In the frosty When there's a big van there. Because you'll be up there, Div. Oh, am I going up here? Yeah, go, go. Go, go. Where am I going? Up okay, here. Right, yeah. follow the van. Oh. Follow the van. Right. Just slowly come around, that's it. See where the grey car's going. Follow the van. Yeah. Just follow the van. Follow the van! Oh, yeah. I love that. So cute. I like that one. Yeah. The um the ox colour. bloody coloured one. Yeah. Obsessed. Yeah. Love them. Yeah. That bag's yeah. really nice. You can use it as a clutch bag or a lunch I like that one. That looks really nice. Put it on. Lovely, I love that. How cute. I like this colour. Yeah. We have been in a few shops and we're now going to get some food from Pratt and there probably will not be anywhere to sit so we'll probably have to walk around with our hot food. Story of my life. Huh? That's really nice. I love that. That's actually adorable. Let's get it. But I'm not going to lock in this year. Where? Where? Oh, yeah. What? have just got into the car we are now on our way home from Bista. i don't know if you can hear but it has just started to lash it down and um, so we did leave at the perfect time um, i will catch up with you when i'm home and show you what i picked up it wasn't a lot but some of them are christmas presents and um, lydia's just doing the sat now 
I have just got home and put my hair half up because it was doing my head in and all I've done all day is be annoyed at my roots so we'll leave that there. I've also just got changed into some comfies um, because I felt a bit uncomfortable in my outfit. To round up this vlog I thought that I would show you what I picked up from Bista today. Hopefully you have enjoyed coming around with us. Um, it is very awkward to vlog in Bista. There's a lot of security guards um, and I am aware that you aren't really allowed to film in there. Um, so I did try and film what I could and hopefully what I got out of it was um, enough for you all. Um, if you are a friend or family member, please click off now because some of these presents will most likely be for yourself. Um, I did pick myself up something as well, um, I did only get one thing and then the other stuff are for people's Christmas presents um, which is mainly what I went to Bista for. Um, the first shop that I went into was Kath Kidson and I absolutely love their packaging, I just think it is mega cute. Um, I did pick up two things from Vista. Um, not Vista from Kath Kidson. Um, I did get this pajama set. Um, this is a present for somebody, but of course I won't say who. Um, these were quite a bargain. They went from around. They were fifty five pounds, and I got them for twenty eight, which is a massive, massive bargain. And um, sometimes Vista do do really good deals, and it's just a lot of hit and miss when you do go. Um, so it is this pyjama top, so super cute and it has all of this detailing on it. It's very lightweight and thin and it has a pocket right there and um, I just loved the print on this. Um, I did get this in a size medium just so the person that I got it for could be super super chilled and cosy because um, there's nothing worse than wearing something and it being a bit tight and oversized and these are the matching bottoms they've just got a white drawstring they have got a pocket on the back as well there and it's exactly the same print and they're a straight leg and um, so these would be super super comfortable um, and definitely really really nice pyjamas to wear and um, I absolutely loved these and did want to pick some up for myself um, but I did restrict myself um, and because I do have a blue light card and um, well I borrowed Lydia's it's like a discount card if you work within the NHS and um, you can get 10% off in Bista Village if you do have a blue light card and um, so a lot of this stuff that I shows that I shows that I will be showing, I did get an additional 10% off as well. Um, to use the 10% off in Kath Kids and you did have to spend around £30. Um, so although the pyjamas were 28 I did have to buy something just to be able to get the 10% off. So technically I did get this next item for free. Um, this is just a Kath Kids and hand cream. And this would just be like a really perfect stocking filler and um, just to give somebody for Christmas as like a little extra present and um, so I did pick that up as well so but that is what I got from Kath Kidson and um, I am my next few videos will be gift guides and um, so you may see some of this stuff featured in those videos as well and um, I just think that a lot of the stuff that I picked up would be a really great present for somebody for Christmas so you may see some of this stuff in those future videos to come the next store that I went into was Rituals um, I have only recently just come across this brand, it's a super luxury um, perfume brand, they do men's and women's aftershaves and perfumes, they do like room diffusers, hand gels, not hand gels, like shower gels and body scrubs, they do a lot of things but they are quite luxury and quite expensive and um, so in Vista I did go into the shop because I wanted to pick something up obviously why else would I go in there and I did get some things for a really really good price they did also give me some 
um, like gift bags. So if these presents were for people, then I could put them in, in this cute Christmas packaging um, and give them to them in these, obviously. Um, so I picked up this men's aftershave. This packaging is so bougie. I absolutely love it. How amazing is that? That is right up my street. Um, so this is a men's aftershave. And this is the Maharaja Dior, Dior Oriental Essence. Yeah? Yes! I am back. Um, as I was saying, I did pick up this aftershave. Um, I can't... How much was this? The aftershave was £39.98. Um, but I did get, off of, I did get a 40% off discount, which brought it down to £23, which is such a bargain. Um, it's definitely worth it. Um, somebody that I have brought this for did smell it and really loved it last time um, so I thought that this would be a good present to get them um, I just absolutely love the packaging of this it's absolutely beautiful um, so that will be a present for somebody this Christmas and the last thing that I picked up from Rituals was a hand cream this is the Rituals of Sakura hand cream the packaging just looked absolutely beautiful um and these are just like little luxury stocking fillers that you could get for somebody um this is the cherry blossom and rice milk hand lotion um i just love getting little things like this for people because i just think they're really good stocking fillers and with it being from the rituals it's just like a little luxury gift um, a lot of people I know love hand cream, so I'm sure I can dish all these out to some people to add to their Christmas presents. And this was only £6, which I'm not sure is a bit expensive for a hand cream, but I just thought, oh, why not? And the last thing that I picked up was from Kate Spade, and this is just a little present for myself. It comes in this super cute box and I picked myself up this little mini Kate Spade purse and um, it has a zipper there to put your coins in and then you pop the, the popper and you can put a photo in there and then some cards and more cards here. Then you have some room in here for some notes. I just absolutely loved this purse and thought it was the perfect size um, just to throw in a little handbag and to carry with you. Um, this was £43 I believe. Um, I don't know what it... Let's have a look. Okay, so the original price of this purse was £95 and the outlet price was £59 but then I got an additional discount of £43 and um, which I think is really really good for a purse. I absolutely love Kate Spade. Um, every time I go to Vista I do like to pick something up from Kate Spade. It's one of my favourite designer companies to buy from. Um, everything in the shops I absolutely love and I could purchase everything but you have to restrict yourself every once in a while. Um, I do have another purse and a bag from Kate Spade which I purchased both from Vista Village. Um, I just absolutely love the brand and it's such a shame that she's sadly passed just absolutely love the brand in general i've always loved it and always purchased from it when i can and so that is everything that i picked up from vista and um, i know it wasn't a lot but i did go in there for what i needed and i did pick myself up a nice little extra present and so that is going to conclude this video everybody hopefully you have enjoyed coming around with me and it hasn't been too boring um, it was a really nice video to film and whilst in Bistro I did feel super festive and they have so many pretty lights and it just looked really really 
nice in there and I love going there every year. I do normally go every year around this time just because I do normally like to pick people up some presents for Christmas from there. Um, so thank you for watching everybody and the Christmas content will be starting from now onwards and I did just want to start with quite a festive day out with me video and um, so hopefully you have enjoyed and I will see you in my next video.